kickboxers, Lisa with ILKB here, bringing you another 15 minute home workout. Today we're gonna work our lower body. So get your essential things you need, grab your water if you want a small towel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spice it up a little today and we're gonna add something that you may not have done. Maybe you have, and if you have, then you have the advantage. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate it right now so when we get to the move, we don't have to take too much time with explanation. It's something called the pendulum lunge which essentially is your forward and reverse lunge in one exercise. Now, if you think about a pendulum, it swings back and forth. It's kind of what we're gonna do with our bodies. So you can put your hands on your hips, and we're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna step out, we're gonna lunge. You can come back, tap in the center, and then go into your reverse lunge. Now, if you're feeling like, all right, I got that, then you can go right from your front, right to your back, and swing it like a pendulum. All right, so we're gonna get to those today. Now that you guys have seen it, We'll jump right in when we get to that exercise. In the meantime, I wanna get started. So get yourself situated, shake it out. We're gonna jog in place. Three, two, and one, jog in place. Now a jog in place is really in between your fast feet and your high knees. So kind of keep that jog there. And breathe. We're gonna go down for surrenders in a couple seconds. I'm gonna demonstrate, you keep moving. Down, down, up, up, and then Alternate your legs, down, down, up, up, three, two, one, let's go, surrenders. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Again, the whole idea here is to keep it low. Keep it low, don't bring your body up. Down, down, up, and up. And as you guys are bringing your feet up, you're coming out and around to the sides. That's where you're gonna be, all right? So you don't wanna bring them up the center. We're gonna hold a squat hold in three, two, and one, nice and low. Again, chest up. Keep your back nice and straight. I want you guys to take a moment and see where you're at. Are you guys hunched? Or if you raise your arms here, is your back straight? That's where you want to be. We're going to work that right side pendulum lunge in four, three, two, and one. So again, stepping it forward, tap back if you need that tap, and then step back. Working the right side only. Again, if you have a, a good sense of balance here and you find it easy with that tap, go right from the front right to the back. You guys are, gonna, guys are gonna feel this in your right quad. Now what I want you to do is make sure you're keeping your form like you would for a regular lunge. All we're doing is combining that reverse lunge and that forward lunge. In a couple seconds we're gonna switch to the left side only. Four, three, two, and one. So I'll stand this way again, step it out, come back, and then step it back. Again, forward, in the middle, and back. And again, when you reverse lunge, remember that leg in the back is gonna be a 90 degree angle. All right, you're gonna push up through that heel, step forward, when you guys are ready, you're gonna be pushing up through that heel. A couple more seconds here. We're gonna give those legs a break, and we're gonna shadow box with that jab cross. Keep it swinging though, keep that pendulum swinging. You guys got five, four, three, two, and one. Shadow box right here. Shadow box, shadow box, jab cross. Again, using your hips, turning your shoulders. I want you guys to think about your abs. Use your abs as you're twisting your body from side to side. Reaching all the way out for your jab and your cross. You always want full extension. You never want to be halfway, all the way out. We're gonna go into some high knees. In three, two, and one, high knees. You guys know the deal, get them up, get them up. Get them as high as you can. You guys can lean back a little bit, that'll help you get those knees nice and high. You guys wanna use your hands as markers? You sure can. I'm gonna hold a squat in four, three, two, and one. So just hold that squat. Okay, again, you guys should be able to move your toes here. If you guys can't move your toes, what's happening is your body shifted forward and it's not the right core. Shift it back. Once you can move your toes, make sure all of your weight is in your heels. We're gonna go into regular squats in four, three, two, and one. Regular squats, all the way down and all the way up. So we're working lower body today now. Our legs are our biggest muscles in our body. And I know when we do full body workouts, when we incorporate it, I always say that we are burning the most amount of calories when we do lower body because of the biggest muscles. So now imagine we're doing that for 15 minutes today. So prepare to be sore tomorrow and prepare to feel good though. You may not be able to walk for a little while, but it's gonna look great afterward. Couple more seconds here. What I want you to do now, 
Keep those squats going. As you come up, I want you to raise and squeeze those calves. Down and up. Down. Keep it going. Add that calf raise. So you're not stopping that squat. All you're doing is adding that calf raise. Come all the way up. And go to the balls of your feet and squeeze those calves. Squeeze them as tight as you can. We're going to shake it out. But right here, I want you to focus on those calves. Squeeze them. Fast feet in four. Three, two, and one. Fast feet. Shake them out. Shake them out. Now keep those feet moving. Now, if you guys want to work on calf muscles and isolate them at home, if you guys have something nearby, even when we're not doing a workout, you guys can hang on to something. And what you guys can do is squeeze up top. Squeeze. So you don't have to be in one of our workouts to work out those calf muscles. A couple seconds, we're going to go into an alternating pendulum lunge, working both legs. Three, two, and one. Do it with me now. I'm going right leg, and then left leg. Remember, if you don't need that tap in the middle, swing it right back and forth, just like a pendulum. Keep the motion going. Working both legs here. We're going to jog in place in a couple seconds and shake it off. So I want you to get those muscles to a nice burn. The more they burn, the nicer that jog is going to feel. If you guys don't have a burn, you guys got to get lower in those lunges. Four, three, two, and one. Jog in place, jog in place. Hope those legs are on fire. If they are, that's a good thing. That's where you want it. It means you're working those muscles. We're gonna go back into those surrenders in a couple seconds. Down, down, up, up. Make sure you guys are alternating your legs. Don't keep dropping down with the same leg every time. All right, we're alternating those legs. You guys got five, four, three, two, and one. Alternate those legs. Remember, keep it low. As you guys are doing this, just like you do with um, maybe certain squats, or I have said you could do this with the in and out squats, touch the ground. That'll help keep your body low so that you don't rise your body because you want to keep it low. Down, down, up, up. Again, changing those sides. You guys got a squat holding four. Three, two, and one. Hold the squat. I know it's burning because we've gone right from surrenders right into a squat hold. We've only got 15 minutes to work this lower body, so we want to get maximum burn here. Stay with it. A couple seconds, we're going to go into that, that pendulum, pendulum lunge with the right side. In three, two, and one. Look at me putting myself out there using an exercise that has a rather long name or maybe a little complex to say. Keep it moving though. These are great, these pendulum lunges, because again, they're combining your forward and your reverse lunge, so you're kind of getting like a two for one here. Working that right side, right side only. We're gonna switch to the left side in a couple seconds. Again, feel that burn. If you guys don't feel it as you guys are lunging, drop down a little lower and then push. Just make sure you guys aren't smacking your knees to the mat. Left side in three, two, and one. Now left side. Again, eliminate that step. If you find that this is, this is moving rather quickly for you or that step is getting in your way, if you have a good momentum, roll with it. Forward and back. And like you would in any of your lunges, you want to make sure that you don't have one foot behind the other. You will fall over. Keep that separation. Think about having your feet on two, uh, two railroad tracks. So as you're stepping forward, you're on that railroad track, keeping that separation. We're going to shadow box in a couple seconds and shake it out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shadow box, shadow box. <sighs> yeah, I mentioned before about keeping your arms at a full extension. Make sure that's happening every time. You can't be turning your body all the way, turning your shoulders and your chest if you're only going halfway. So reach all the way out. And you notice as you reach, your body's gonna turn. Remember, this is body friendly. We got high knees in three, two, one. Let's get them up. So that's always something to think about when you're on the back. Full extension will help get that rotation of the body. So again, always reaching out in front of you. We're gonna hold a squat in a couple seconds. I want you to get lower than you've gone. In three, two, and one. Hold it. I know it hurts. Stay with it, stay with it. Get down an inch lower. Another inch. One more inch. Come on, as low as you can now. Hold it as low as you can. We're gonna go into regular squats in five, four, three, two, and one. Woof. Bring it to the top. Thrust those hips forward. Now in a couple seconds, we're gonna add that calf raise again. As you guys are coming up, 
Remember, to, to, you're going to stand up and then on the balls of your feet, you're going to squeeze your calves. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go. And that calf raise, come up, squeeze. So if you have a good rhythm, you can probably go nice and fast. If balance is an issue, then do it in steps. Squat, bring it up, and then squeeze and come back down. So you can take it in a two-parter or you can go automatic full through it. Shaking it off in a couple seconds, those calves should be burning. No, four, three, two, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. You can shake it out, shake it out. Get the blood flow and shake it out of those legs. Let's make sure that they're feeling good, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the pendulum lunge, again, alternating those legs this time. In five, four, three, two, and one. Side to side, remember, working the right side, and then the left side. And again, if you don't need that step in the middle, you can go ahead and just step it all the way back. Drop nice and low. You wanna feel this in your quads. If you're not feeling it in your quads, check where you landed. Is your back leg at a 90 degree angle? Because if it's not, that's why you're not getting the burn. You may be up here, which isn't working the quad nearly as much. Drop it down. You wanna feel it in both quads. We're gonna shake it out with a jog in place in a couple seconds. You guys got four. Three, two, and one. Jog in place, jog in place. Guys, we're going through this list of exercises one more time. This is it. This is the last time we're going through them. So it's now or never. Push yourselves each time you go through these workouts. Either make sure that your legs are burning a little more, or your feet are moving a little faster, or you're squatting a little lower. We're gonna go right into surrenders. Four, three, two, and one. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So if you guys are getting pretty good at this, you guys can pick up your pace. If you still need to go slow, that's okay too. Just alternate those legs, keep it low. That's the key, keep it low. That's how you're gonna maximize that burn. Hold that squat for me in four, three, two, and one. Nice and low, nice and low. Again, chest out, back nice and straight. Again, all your weights in your heels, you're gonna be able to wiggle those toes as you guys are squatting here. Speaking of squatting, that's where we're going next. In four, three, two, and one. Squat it out, squat it out, squat it out. So we're gonna go back into those pendulum lunges one more time. We're gonna start with that right side. In four, three, two, and one. Last time here, last time. Step it forward, step it back, right side only. We will alternate them again, but not till the end. So right side only. So again, as you step out, make sure that back leg is at a 90 degree angle. Bring it up. Make sure that back is at a 90 degree angle and your knee and your ankle are in line. Again, we're working the right side here. We're gonna alternate over to that left side only in a couple seconds. That right leg should be on fire. Remember, if it's not, get down lower. Bend a little lower. Slow it up and check your form. Switching over to the left side in five, four, three, two, and one. Left side here. Again, breathing. You guys are gonna exhale as you push up off that heel. So as I step out, that's where I wanna breathe. And we're gonna shake it off with that shadow box again in a couple seconds. As you guys are shadow boxing, what I want you guys to do is focus on extending those arms all the way. So if you wanna move nice and fast, make sure you're using those shoulders to extend. If you wanna do the one-two combo, make sure that you're really turning that body, getting those shoulders behind you. We're gonna get at it in five, four, three, two, and one, shadow box, shadow box. And again, if you guys can conquer these techniques off the bag, you guys are gonna see a major improvement when you get back on the bag. All right, so like now is the time to kind of like load the barrel. Because then when you guys get back to the bag, you're gonna rock it. You got high knees in four, three, two, and one. High knees, high knees. You guys can use your hands as targets. I might have said that before. And then once you're able to reach that target, maybe you lift them a little higher. There's different ways you can mess around high knees, even though it seems like a simpler kind of exercise. We're gonna hold that squat again in four, three, two, and one. Just hold, just hold. Breathe. Now as you guys are in your squat, 
I want you to think about pushing your knees out. Okay, you guys are gonna feel this more in the legs. So you don't want your legs in here. Think about pushing those knees out. That's your proper form, those knees pushing out. We're gonna squat in four, three, two, and one. Squat it out. So same thing as you're doing your squats. As you're coming down, think about pushing those knees out. You want them out. And as you come down, push them out. And then we're gonna add that calf raise when I say go. You're gonna squeeze that calf as hard as you can. In five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze them. Calves are important. They're like the foundation of our kickboxing because we're always on the balls of our feet. So it's important to work those calves. I'm gonna shake it out in a couple seconds, so get them to burn. Get that burn, the fast feet will feel better. Four, three, two, and one. Fast feet, fast feet. Keep those feet. So when you get a muscle to burn, and you go beyond that point where you feel comfortable and you push through, the more of a burn you get, the better that shake out is going to feel. You're gonna get that blood flowing gonna feel real good. Again, that burn, you can equate that to how you're sculpting the muscle. Alternating those pendulum lunges again in four, three, two, and one. Let's go, alternate them right and left. Now I'm trying to stay on the mat here. So as you guys are doing it at home, it should be a smoother transition. You guys should, you guys should be able to step as forward as you need to and as back as you need to. Guys, we're at the end of this workout. I got one more thing, we're gonna go out strong. We got burpees, I mean not burpees. You guys have done enough burpees. Let's do froggies, it's half a burpee, but work them hard. In four, three, two, and one. Hands to the mat, kick out, keep it low. Keep it low. Again, like those surrenders, keeping the tension on those quads. I'm gonna count you guys down for your last 10 seconds. This is it, this is the last workout. Again, when you kick out, nice level back. When you bring those feet to the outside of those wrists, keep it low, keep it low. Here we go, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Whew, guys, great job today. Take some time, stretch your muscles out, grab some water, and I hope to see you all again tomorrow for our next 15 minute workout.